Well, I saw the first two Insidious films, and I don't know, they're so cool. I love how creepy they are without being, like, gory and bloody. They're just genuinely creepy. And when things pop out at you, like the hair on your arm raises, and they really freak me out. And I love scary, creepy things, and I'm so fascinated in paranormal, paranormal situations. So, and it was just a really cool script, and I loved Quinn and the story behind it, too. It's a really tough time in any teenage girl's life, even with finding the right college, knowing what to do with your life. Anything a, a normal teenage girl deals with, but she has to deal with that without her mother, and that's why she reaches out to um, Elise to go to a psychic to kind of to try to contact her, and that's when I get involved with some bad spirits. Well, this is the prequel to the first two films, so this is before they meet the, La the Lambert family. It's um, the Brenner family. <laughs> um, basically, my character Quinn, I lose my mom to breast cancer, um, probably like a year before the film kind of shows their life. And um, yeah, I just, it's a really hard time in her life being 17, about to graduate high school, trying to find the right college, any kind of situation that a normal teenage girl goes through, except I don't have my mom there to talk to about it, and I, I feel like I'm kind of, Quinn's kind of, she kind of steps up to the motherly role in the family because all she has is her dad and her brother. He's an incredible director, especially for his first time. I mean, I think it's just because he knows the film so well. He wrote the first two, but I think it's awesome. He gets to take over now. But as a first time as a director, he's doing I, I love working with him because he knows each character so well, and I feel like there's a little piece of him in each character. Like before the big scenes, you know, he always takes us aside one by one and kind of just goes through the feelings of what we're feeling and how he how he can relate to each person too. And I think, well, since he wrote the film, he kind of wrote a bit of himself in each one, which is really neat. What I love about this movie is it kind of starts a new chapter with a new family, so anybody can really watch it and understand exactly what's going on. But what I love about it, even though it's so scary and the scare scenes are super intense, it's a pretty intense film. A lot of the scenes are. Um, but what I love about it is the backstory and how the characters are so real. It's not just a teenage girl in skinny jeans and a cardigan, like, oh my God, something's trying to get me. You know what I mean? Like, she has a backstory of why it's happening and, um, she always has the motivation of hoping that it's her mother on the other side and not really knowing. And um, they're really just trying to get through their life. And I think that a lot of people are going to be able to relate to Quinn and um, her struggles, you know, as a 17-year-old girl.